Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am excited to be here. I am going to continue to work on the Red Paris Junk Journal and we started it yesterday in the craft with me. It was live and it was a lot of fun. Um, if you missed it, you might want to check it out at minute, two hour and 20 minutes. I um, went ahead and I showed this beautiful journal that Maria from Angelfish Designs had given me. And so if you want to see it, and believe me, you want to see this. It is gorgeous. Um, there is so many ideas in here. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I will be posting a video on Instagram where I will go through just this journal. I just have to figure out to do how to do that. I haven't done that before. Um, so, but that's where she does most of her stuff. So again, it's Angel Fish Designs. She was a design team member for me when I had a full design team. And I just, I am so excited to, to have some of her work. Check it out. It is in the, the link to yesterday's videos in the description box down below. You can watch us make these amazing Paris things. But at the hour, two hours, 20 minutes, I do the flip through of my gift. So check that out. And thank you again, Maria. And I just might have to try some of those, <laughs> some of those things today. So um, yesterday in the live video, this is what we we did using the kits that the Patreons received and the Emerald kit that the, um, the Emerald Patreons received. So we're going to continue on. And so something really simple. I do have the pages from the um, the emeralds and I'll be going ahead I'll be doing something with these um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today or <laughs> if we'll we're going to go ahead and wait but um, I do need I do need a couple pieces of cardstock so I'm going to use this I'm going to I'm going to use this as my guide here you know what I actually have books that are already to, ready to be journals and I won't have to make a cover that are, if I, if I do this at nine inches, right? Let's, let's grab one. I changed my mind. I have this white book and I'll just need to cut down my, this one this uh the red page so um yeah i <laughs> uh, that's the one i'm gonna use fragile like us and so let's see well i'm gonna take the whole book out and just use the front and back probably because it looks like it is glued in we'll see Okay, that'll be cover day. Um, but we've decided we're going to use the white cover. So we want our pages to be 8 inches. So let's go down here. And we're going to flop up a full... Of course, this could be... This could be... Um... could be a single signature it does not you know what I think we'll do single a single signature um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna cut this so we could do eight and a half inches tall I'll save these for other for cards and things I've got more I've got more pages we'll go with the big one the big one um, so cutting it at eight and a half we've made the decision <laughs> that this is going to be okay so we'll 
come across here, across here, and here we'll go ahead and um, cut this over this way at ten and a half. Okay, that gives me a small piece and that. Um, let's see. We'll use that for the cover. I think I just want to use the damask prints if I can. So this could be a, oh darn. Um, well, Okay, well, it can be. Let's go ahead and cut this at eight and a half inches, which is page size. This will give me a flip page and this fun little pocket thing. Okay, so that's one page. And this one, we're going to want to, let's use this as our, guide and make sure we're inside of that. There we go. Okay, so that's going to give us a flip page. We have a flip page. We have a pocket page. You know, I like, like to do that. And then I'm thinking we can use this for the cover. So nine inches, but I think I'm going to um, do something different, but this is my nine by 12 and I have this piece. Those are going to be for the cover, put them over there. Let's see. What else do we have? Ooh, stripe. There's a stripe. There's a small, there's a... Ooh, I like the stripe. Um, I think we'll go with another like flip type page. Okay. So this one comes in. Okay, so if this is the page. Okay, so that's our the actual page. And this one can be our flip page. Okay, so we have two flips and a pocket page. Okay. Um okay. I think that's that's a good start with what we have over here. Um so we ended, we've got those three pages over there that we still are planning to use. Then we've got this flip page, this flip page, and this pocket page. Okay. Remember, we are using the Patreon digital kit. And this is their digital kit for January. And let's see. So I have this, this page and it needs to get flipped in somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, this was from the Emerald Kit. Um, some got their page already, uh, two pieces together, and some got the 
You know what? I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that because what we get is we get that. Okay. Maybe, maybe cut it down just, just a smidge. Of course, you know I like the ratty versus the cut. So we're going to do a tip in here. Maybe maybe the tip in should be here. So you see that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. I like it on the pocket. What do you think? I like it on the pocket. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to close up this pocket. So, yeah, so since we're doing a couple, we've done a couple of books, we'll do a single signature journal with this one. Um, we started with the three emerald pages. So we'll be able to use those. Okay. Um, Emeralds, their digital is background pages. And right now they have, there's... There's three. Um, I made four. I cannot find the fourth one. And I think, I th I'm thinking I made it and printed it and didn't save it. But usually they get one. <laughs> I, um, I just, I had made some extra. But, uh I hate when things happen. So we're going to go ahead and grab this glue off this page. This has really been saving my my hands. That and then grabbing the, the glue thing. So let me know. I've been thinking about doing my favorite 10 or more um, items. For junk journaling from uh, Dollar Tree. Let me know if that's something that you would want to see. Okay. I'm just straightening it up. It's not even on the bottom. There. But I do like this glue eraser. And I got it at Dollar Tree. I have one in my... Somewhere with my charcoals and stuff, I think. Okay. So adding that in. Now... Some um, some of the emeralds, their pa their paper like this was um, together. Okay, it wasn't two single pieces like mine is. Okay. Okay, so that is what we've got there. So that will go into the journal. Um, so I need to look at my, what I've got here. Okay, one thing that I have, well, I have my fleur-de-lis napkin. We haven't even taken the plies. Ooh, look at that. So it's probably just a single ply, huh? Yep. But look at that. Might be able to use that on a page. Um, I 
I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I kind of like it on, on here with the pocket. It would be behind the pocket. I like that idea. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm trying to use the items that the emeralds received. Yeah, I should have done this before I glued the pocket down, huh? But I did something the other day and didn't glue the pocket down. And then I was upset because I didn't glue the pocket down. So it's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Okay. Okay. And yes, I'm using a lot of napkins lately. I love napkins um, for the variety that they give. Um, the texture is amazing. That's my, that's my favorite reason for using napkins. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to use my Tombow Mono permanent glue stick. And I'm going to add glue along there. Let's go ahead and come over here. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it down under the pocket. <laughs> okay. Pull it down under the pocket. All the way across. We have a little bit of glue. Carefully grab that. All the way across. Okay. I love that. Okay, so now we can go here and we can go along and cut our napkin off. So one of the most beautiful things in Maria's um, gift to me was her use of a napkin. Oh my gosh. It was so, so beautiful. Okay, so this one is not all the way down. So what I do is I pull it back and I go on the napkin with the glue stick. So I'm actually going on the napkin and then I push it down. Okay. And it gives me, it works. It just... Okay, so that's going to give me that beautiful pocket. Um, now, over here in my, my stuff, I have this. This was um, one of the things in the kit. And so I'm going to go ahead and put it down, and I'm going to make it into a pocket. Okay. Too much glue right there. Too much glue. Okay. Oh, I just put it in upside down. Oh, well. doesn't have to be a pocket. <laughs> if you want it to be a pocket, it can be a pocket. <laughs> From the inside. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one of my snazzy snazzy fashion girls. I think we'll take this one, this one. I think she, she looks like she should go right there. Okay. 
So there is a digital called the Dear Julie Julie Digital called French Fashionista. These are not it. These are stickers that I got from Spectrum Art Creations. There. Oh my gosh. I love that. Love that. Okay. Can't, can't pick that up, but I love that. Okay. So there's that. Here's this. You know, another thing, so I, another thing she used so well was the um, doily. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this doily over here. She being Maria, Angel Fish Designs. Okay. Okay, so my glue is on. I want that rose. I'm trying to pull the glue out to the outer edge. Okay. I should use my resist the sticky scissors here. Close this pocket. Yes, we did. Okay. Okay. Do we have any fashion vistas going from that direction? Oh, she kind of looks. She kind of looks cool, and her. She's in the right direction. This one. I think we'll go with her. There's that. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to probably end up with a charm class. Because we've got charms. Okay. I love it. Okay. So... For this, we also have a bunch of squares, okay? And so I'm thinking that it might be kind of cool to just take one of these squares from the napkin okay, and put it up there. Now, I think I'm going to have to do glue stick on the page because it's too fragile, I think. Okay, so we'll come down, down here. Okay, now Go ahead and pull the corner back, add the glue, put it down, pull the corner back, add 
the glue, put it down. Okay. I love that. Okay. Now. Okay. So there's that. There's that. Okay. So for the Okay, so we have so I'm going to put this over for right now. It's going to go over here. So we have this right here. Okay. And I think we'll go ahead and add a flip up pocket here. Because this is a nice heavy page. Okay, so flip up pocket, we go ahead and we add glue around the three sides. Just like that. I'm gonna flip that up because I don't want glue on that. I'm gonna grab this. Go around. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, so I had you could journal on that. If I flip it like this, it can go in here. That can go up, okay? So let's go ahead and I want to be able to see the Arc de Triomphe. So I need to, I think we'll do this one, okay? So that way we get cafe. Okay, so just like we did before, I'm going to go ahead and put the glue right on the card that I'm going to put the napkin on. Okay. I can see through. So let's see if I lay it down like so. Okay. Okay. If we turn it over, use this side I should be able to cut right up to the edge gives me those two and then this I'm going to go ahead and pull over
Okay. Okay, so how did how's that gonna look? That's gonna go in like that. I love it. Okay, now I have a ribbon that came that was part of the emerald kit. There it is. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a knot. It's not easy. It's not easy. I'll take it. It looked like it was going to just go right where I wanted it to go. But no. It didn't. But it sure looked like it was going to. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. Okay. So. Here and here, over, Got that one going in the direction I want, I think. If I can turn that one. Ha! Huh, there. I don't know how I did it. Um, I'm going to come in and cut it. Cut it. I'll be able to use those someplace. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and we'll glue this down. Fabric tack. Okay. Well, I really. I'm like shocked. <laughs> it actually worked out. Okay. We've got this. Um, okay. I'm going to put this red piece this napkin is stronger than I thought it was so I'm going to go ahead and do it like that okay we'll add that and we'll come and grab a tissue Eiffel Tower from the from the embellishment kit that the the emeralds got. They get an embellishment kit each month, along with um, they get they have access to all the digitals. See this this glue stick is so creamy. I can do that. Okay. Okay, there. Ooh, like. Okay.
This says Eiffel Cafe. And put some glue on it. This is from my stash. Just a washi. Flip that up, and that's what we've got. We'll flip that over, and this is our flap. Okay, so back to some of the items. Okay, this is from the Ruby kit. We need a panel card. Ooh, how about the big Eiffel Tower? Okay, so this is the page that you could use and make a miniature of what we, we made yesterday using this um, half sheet tag. I, sh I showed you, um, pointed out which papers you could use in the video yesterday. Okay. okay. Oh, this would have been, <laughs> but that is, that's mine. That's my eight. Put it over here with my, my stuff. Okay. I like that. I'm wondering if it should have a little bit of red. Oh, Instant Pot is telling me that it's done. Okay, I kind of like it on this side. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Or should it go all the way on or behind? I like it behind. See, I was trying to do something different, but uh, <laughs> okay. So this is gonna go from behind. There we go. Okay. That'll go there. something behind it. Oh, I should have before I cut it. Well, it, it had to cut, so. What about on here? Which we've been using. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. Note to self. I like that. Note to self, Paris. <laughs> I wish. Tom has no interest. <laughs> In Paris. Okay. Okay. So let's see what do we got. Where's the other one? It's up there. I have two of these. The bummer is sometimes they get stuck. The oh, I like the watering can. Uh, 
couldn't find it. I'm like, I have a Paris cancellation stamp. <laughs> we should be using it. <laughs> okay. It goes this direction, right? Okay, so that's going to give us a panel, and then we'll put this on here. It's a lot of glue. trying to move the glue. There's so much glue, I was trying to move it around. Okay. If I hang... Okay. Whoops. Duh. I want it in the middle. Okay, and I want to make sure that... So we're going to put it down and pick it up and move it over. That way, we put glue down closer to the edge then we picked it up okay just kind of wait pick this up all the way around okay so that gives me that ooh didn't pick it up enough that dry and then we'll be able to get it with the thing um but what we need here is a couple of lined papers or a lined paper i think one well we can cut two because we have two um places Okay, so we'll cut this at eight and a half. I have a place that these pieces are going now when it's not a challenge journal when I have to save all my my pieces. Okay, oh, we've got three. So one can be a double and one can be not a double. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so folding it in half, then pulling it over, we're making a, we call it a flip-flop. It's a way to add extra paper inside. Okay, go along. Just, just need glue. it ready set it in I don't know what was going on with that paper but it had a mind of its own okay oh it's not folded straight that's the second paper today So you open it, open it, open it. You've got all that journaling space that we just added. And then we'll just come in and grab the, the glue.
we go. Once it starts, it's like, wow. Okay, we got all the glue off. And we now have a flip-flop page. This side has a flip up with this card. Let's see. Um, I'm thinking. So we'll do the same thing. We'll add a flip flop to the other one, um, but with a probably with a different idea. Um, I'm thinking we need um, let's see what are what are our choices over here? We have some paper pieces. this okay so let's look at what we've got stacked so I have these two stacked the other okay we're gonna set that one aside for right now we'll come to this So one of the things that I saw Maria do, and this, this reminds me of it, was she used the top fold over piece like a hinge. Okay, so the top fold over piece like a hinge. And um, what I'm thinking here, whoa, we don't want to lose those, is that we could use possibly the other piece of fabric okay oh it's it's way bigger than what that was what I was thinking is we could have that hooked on here but you see that that is that is way bigger I think we'll probably we might want to use this on the cover let me know what you think about that. I'm thinking possibly for the cover. Okay, so then we can switch to possibly this. Okay, so that was my second thought was the other tag. So this is in the Ruby kit, you get this in several sizes. And as a opal, you get it to large. The P 
page. Okay. So that can hang, hang down. Um, probably going to want to put something under it. And, but what I'm thinking for this part of the page is a double um, pocket like I like to do. We've got plenty of things to put in pockets. So I'm going to go ahead and make their little their little goodies and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay, so glue all the way around it. All the way around and then up the middle. So that'll give me two pockets. Okay, we'll put that just like that. So that will go there. Oh, I need my glue hold, glue catcher. Okay, go across, catch, cross, catch. Okay. This is going to be where our other flip-flop is going to go. We can go ahead and get that ready. Okay, and I'm not gonna make it a true flip-flop. I'm just gonna add the glue here and put it straight in, just like we did the other one. Okay, okay so we've got this, and we've got this, this, and This could just get a beautiful um, collage. Do not want her sideways.
like that. There we go. is left over from the the card but it's not it's not very long Just go ahead and put glue on it. Could have put double sided tape on it. Okay, I'm going to lay it just like I would washi. Okay, just like I would washi. This is one of the really small pieces. I'm going to go ahead and come down here and cut across here. I think I can, I think I'll like this one. So with the Ruby kit, you get these in all different sizes. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and I will make it a pocket, of course. Because I can put a ticket in there. Okay, where's, where is my napkin? How did I lose a whole napkin? <laughs> oh, well, here's the inside of the tissue. It stays together really well, so. There we go. There's a kitty in the it's stuck in the room. That's what that noise is. Okay. Okay. I really like that. I really like that. Um, I'm thinking maybe no. I was thinking two of these. They won't fit. Okay. So we have our flip flop here. And then we have this flip flop here. And we can still add more. This probably is going to need a um, paper clip for this. I like the way that turned out. I really like this. Okay.
Okay. Well, this, we're saving that for the, the pocket, which is on here, probably. But it needs to get put onto something, I think. Okay. We have this. Okay, so that's going to be a paper to go inside. Okay. I like what we got today. Okay, so we have this is ready. This needs two cards here. It needs something here with the backing. We have this one has the flip up and it has the pocket and then it has this. Okay, and this we can go ahead. We can add um, some paper inside possibly. And yeah, I really like that. But I think we need to find something to help differentiate. We might need something red in there. We'll leave that for right now. Okay. And we did this. We've got that beautiful pocket. And remember, I do have these also that I can use. Okay, and I cut those with my Cricut. Okay. She, she's going to need something with her, but we'll figure that out. Okay. I got to go let the cat out of <laughs> cat out of the bag. No, I got to go let the cat out of the closet that she's put herself in. And, ooh, I like that. Yeah, we're going to put that there. Possibly with some lace behind it, though. Uh, we'll wait. I like that, though. I like that. You know what? I'll just put it so that it's there. I can take it up if I... If I have to. Okay, there we go. Put that on there. Okay, so we are working on pages to add to the pages that we had already made, um, including our little ephemera holder, but we're going to use it as the center of the signature. So quite a variety of pages we have happening here. So let's get an idea of what we might. Okay, I do like this with that red background. Okay. And these can also be changed to this direction. Okay, so that could go like that.
It's interesting, this time I have just as many things. Um, oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, so what do we got? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Got the extra page there, and then the extra page there. Extra page there. So all of our extra pages are on that, that second side. But that's okay. I really, I like the way this is coming together. So let's take a quick look. This is our flip, our fabric flip. Got our double tuck there. Double edge. Center signature. Fabric flip. Double tuck. Extra page. That. That. This stuff. This flip flop. Ooh, I like. I like those together. Yeah. This. This is the extra page here. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. Um, we'll be back tomorrow and we're going to work on the other pages. So I will be adding in these pages. I need to decide um, whether I am going to um, back them. I'm going to look at Morning Roses. Because there is, there's a page that's just the roses. I think it's in Morning Roses. And I might be able to back that with that. Um, we also have the negative of, of this that could go on the back of a page. Um, but, but I'm really, I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards that. The other thing is, is we could do two large pockets. Okay, so gluing these together and then having pockets. But I kind of think that we need the break in here of the um, digital. So I will be cutting down the, um, the edges on this. And... Yeah, so, so that'll help me figure out what pieces to add, for, what other pieces to add where once we get these pages added in. And then um, I do have a couple of other just random things that we can add. Okay, so let's see, adding this. And of course, I can, um, I can make this smaller. Okay, so that we don't see, so that we see the, the fluff, not that. Okay. Okay. So then we will have this that can go in a little further. Possibly. That one can go there. That one. Let's see what's over here. So this one, if that went in there, this is what would be here. That might be kind of cool. Okay. I want to thank you for hanging out. And uh, again, this is the Red Paris kit. It is available to the Dear Julie Julie Patreons. That is www.patreon.com slash Dear Julie Julie. It is a monthly subscription service. It is 
how and why I'm here every day. <laughs> Thank you to the Patreons. Um, they are guaranteed. <laughs> it's like it's like a paycheck. And I really, really appreciate it. And we get to have a lot of fun. And some exclusive fun things. So, yeah. So there, there we go. So tomorrow we'll be adding the... The three pages. Um, I will check my computer one more time to see if that fourth page has shown up um, that I lost. And yeah, so thank you all for being here. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.